One of the reasons why we've started this series is we don't know what's gonna happen at the shop. It could be 25 people at the door waiting to get in. It could be a six-figure deal that Ryan's gonna work in his office. It could be someone that goes up on that wall and is ripping $1,000 boxes. We just don't know, and that's the beauty of this. And we want you guys to become a fly on the wall to kind of see what happens in the day at the shop. Yeah, baby! That's why they pay me the big bucks. My name is Chris Carrion, and this is my 2009 Bowman Chrome Mike Trout card, also known as the holy grail of modern baseball cards. Well, this is Chris. He's into the higher end cards, and he's been building wealth within the category, just kind of trading up and getting into different cards that he thinks has more potential. And with someone like that, they come in with cards. How did I get this card? I got it from Ryan over here at Burbank Cards. I traded four cards for it. Uh, two big ones I traded uh, involved were a LaMelo Ball Kaboom PSA 10 and a 2008 Topps Chrome LeBron James X Fractor PSA 10. And the great thing about all this is when we're dealing with customers like Chris, who's looking for a really high-end card, maybe we've had it in the showcases for three or four days and people have seen it, and then he comes in and grabs it and gives us fresh inventory for it. So the key to Burbank is just our selection, but more importantly, how fresh the cards are. So the next time Chris comes in and somebody else is traded into a card, he's gonna see some new cards. And that's how we can generate customers coming in four, five, six times a week is because of the fresh card. And he's just gonna be super stoked because he's added a real centerpiece to his collection. Value-wise, I would say cheapest one you could buy right now on eBay is 33,000. Mine's not for sale. My name is George. I just walked in today trying to uh, trade for a Justin Herbert Optic Downtown. Found out it's already sold. Started looking around the cases and I found this beauty. George is one of my very favorite customers. A, he's got a huge personality. B, he has a really successful restaurant, and he really, really enjoys cards. He walked in the other day for a card that we had sold maybe an hour beforehand, and while he was a bit disappointed, he looked around in the showcases and saw all kinds of new stuff that he hadn't seen before, and he found this amazing jaw card. Made an offer, made a deal, and now I get to take this beautiful card home. I think uh, current day should be worth about $2,000 gonna be one of the faces of the NBA for many years to come and uh, cards a pop too so I'm glad to be one of two owners of this uh, amazing graded card. Dude what are you doing up on camera here man? <laughs> Thank you so much. Dude so uh, you're gonna be cooking for us the next trade night? Whatever you guys want. Dude Whatever this guy you guys want. this yeah. guy he sets up shop outside in our parking lot for trade nights and everyone just devours it. It is so good George. So good, bro. My pleasure. My pleasure. I love this place. One of my favorite places on the planet. So we try to greet everybody that comes in the store. Now we know most of these people, but every once in a while we're like, don't recognize them. Let's go ahead and make sure we greet them and find out who they are. And James and Gavin had come in from Arizona. They found us on Instagram and they had to stop by the store when they were in Southern California. We've heard great things about this place, so we had to make the trip down before we fly back out. That is awesome. Now, did you do pluck when you were his age? I did, so my dad got me started going to card shows, I think, when I was in second or third grade. Oh, wow. Okay. So he just turned 12, mm -hmm. and with the pandemic and everything, I was always a part of the hobby. He started getting more interested. And then Arizona just opened it back up where we started having card shows again. Nice. So he actually went to his first card show last weekend. One of the great things about this hobby that sets it apart from almost anything else is it's generational. It's fathers and sons. James collected when he was younger and now he's rediscovered it. Most importantly, his son Gavin's really taken to it. So they have something in common now, which is huge. And they came in here, found us on Instagram, looked around, walk out of here with a couple boxes, and that's just wonderful. So, went to Burbank Cars for my first time, this is what we got. We got two 2020 Prisms, 2021 Bowman Chrome Hobby, and then a 2020 Select Mega. We got all of them, 
hoping to hit some Lamellos, and then Tua's, Herbert's, all of, you know, all of them. So. And what did you think about the store? It was really nice. I like it. I'll come back. Absolutely. Enjoy. Any questions? I got a number of people working Great. here. And awesome. I'm Rob. Hey, I'm James. James? Oh, okay. Gavin. Gavin, your pleasure. You guys enjoy the store, okay? Absolutely. Thanks Thank a lot. But not ones that I want to go sell on eBay, as we talked about, and not ones that I want to. Uh, no. No. I'm f***ing with you. <laughs> <laughs> we got a special guest in the store today. You might know him from the Goldbergs or Curb Your Enthusiasm, Mr. Jeff Garland. So every once in a while, a customer will walk in here and they'll look vaguely familiar, and then it'll become apparent that they're a celebrity. Let me see the You nice want to see the 70 top set, Jeff? Is this in nice condition? Uh, that one's in okay shape. Actually, that one's pretty nice too, if I remember. When Jeff walks in here, he automatically goes over to our vintage card section. He's a big fan of the older cards because it kind of brings him back to his youth, grew up a Cubs collector, and just kind of loves the names of the era. In the 70 top set, features Thurman Munson's rookie card, but it's also chock full of Hall of Famers like Clemente, Aaron, Mays, Nolan Ryan. It's 726 cards, and it's just full of memories for him. Well, this is my second set that I bought. 69 was my first one. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take this. Okay, 70 top set. I'm bringing it up front for you, brother. Can we look at the 59? Yeah. Cool, I'll show it to you. See, what I do is, I have a delightful girlfriend. I have a delightful ex-wife. Well, what you do is you throw these on the table and you invite ladies over. And they go nuts. <laughs> they sit for hours, they relax. It's like giving them a glass of wine to have them do it. That's what I do. And my girlfriend knows, she's cool. I don't hook up with any of these women, although they'd like to based on me having this. But I don't get involved. I lead a very clean life. Funny thing happened when Jeff was here, and he was featured in this year's 2021 Topps Allen & Ginter set, which is a really popular set, and it has a focus on celebrities. Well, it just so happened that Jeff had autographed cards within the product, and it also so happened that one of our customers happened to have that card, and it was just comedy gold, and he walked up to Jeff, and Jeff was just shocked autograph the card right in front of them. It was, it was a real thrill in the story. Can I look at this one? Most certainly, sir. Right. The other set that Jeff bought was a 1975 top set, which holds a special place for me as that was the first set that I ever completed as a kid. It's just a beautiful set, very popular with collectors. It features the George Brett rookie, the Robin Yount rookie, and just like the 1970 top set, loaded with Hall of Famers. And if you remember, in 1975, it was the Reds and the Red Sox in one of the greatest World Series of all time. John Mayberry, right on top. Big power hitting first baseman uh, for the Kansas City Royals. Um, let's see who's, I'm just gonna go on one page. Well, Steve Carlton, supposedly very warm and friendly. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Cut. And I'll take this one too. You got that one. Yeah. All right, well, gift wrap, put yeah. it up front. So we got a 75 top set and a 70 top set. Yeah. Excellent. Yes, sir. Right. These, these come with it? Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. No extra Hold charge. on. I apologize. Hold on a second. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, he's wearing all black. He, um, yeah. No way I'm talking about it. No. All right. No. So there we go. Yes. <laughs> this is exciting. Look what I bought today. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is very exciting. 